is May 29th, 2012. Dead Eye Mac. So, I woke up this morning, went to check something on the iMac, wouldn't come on. I normally don't power it off, I just let it go to sleep overnight. It was fine when I went to bed last night, won't start up this morning. Did everything you're supposed to do, unplugged the peripherals, wouldn't start, unplugged the power, waited 15 seconds, plugged it back in, went to 5 seconds, wouldn't start. So, I'm going to go in to the Apple store this afternoon at 3. This makes the second time this computer has failed. It's only 9 months old, which puts my personal failure rate for Intel Max at 125% or so. Every single one I've had has failed. Now this one's failed twice. Not a great track record, Apple. So I'm working from home most of the week because they're starting the repair work outside our office here. The window is going to get replaced. So workers out there right now, you can see they started the demolition of the area already. They were just in here videotaping the condition, pre-demolition, etc. There you hear the power tool going. That has the kittens freaked. I was just using treats to try to get Alice to come out from underneath the bed. I don't know if it's gonna work. Alice, will come out. She's very frightened. She's deep under the bed. Come on, Alice. So Alice is hiding upstairs. And Sydney. And Sydney is hanging out in the kitchen. And I so much fun. And I and and I and I am taking the iMac in. And I've got to take the iMac in because it wouldn't start up this morning. Isn't that fun? So Alice came out from underneath the bed. She just came downstairs and goes right underneath the couch. Alice, baby, Alice. You'll be okay, sweetie. I've got a routine down. Pretty pathetic. Well, I feel like a jackass because I took the Mac in and the guy reset the power unit and it worked. Of course, I just, I only followed the instructions on my Apple website about how to reset the power unit on this machine, which says unplug it for 15 seconds and then wait for five seconds before you plug it back in. He said you need to unplug it for at least a minute and then hold the power button down for at least 10 seconds. Thanks for putting that on the website, guys. So I'm going home with the machine. At least I didn't have to leave it, right? <laughs>